I'm interested in training guys that lay their fitness on the line. We put them under a lot of stress, both muscular and metabolic. And I've seen people in tears, I've seen people vomit. <laughs> so if you're not nervous before you train, think about it. That might be not hard enough. Passing through that sort of nervousness, getting into the workout, having it be as hard as you thought it was going to be, maybe even a bit harder, coming out the other side and realizing, I made it. Well, we're combining two different modes of, of exercise and uh, try using the sprint starts to try and drive all the blood to the legs and get his heart rate and respiration up really high. At that point, go over to the rings, which demand a really high level of core tension. So you can't breathe as well as you want to. And because all the blood is in the legs, there's not much to push, push with in the upper part of the body. They basically never did the same workout twice. <laughs> By making it random like that, the body never adapts to work. Doing it right. And that's the circular path that we're taking to prepare these guys for the, for the, the roles that they're playing and also the, all, the, all the fighting that they have to do. Action! We're blending basically three different types of, uh, of activities, combining gymnastic, metabolic, and lifting or throwing. Some of the guys needed to lose weight, some of the guys needed to put some weight on, some of the, some of the people just needed to be recomposed, in, in a sense. Ah, there we That's go. right, no pain, no gain, no lack. We always use a stopwatch to intensify the movements, and it's also a way to create a hierarchy within the group. They're pushing you to the limit. They come in looking a little bit soft, they get smashed. They come into the gym and they're, you know, they look smooth. Veins that were popping out before are not popping out now, they get smashed.